and uh, I want to check I want to check the path of the raw water in, in, in the outboards yes the outboards are cooled by raw water we are going to follow the path of the raw water and we are going to verify where the water enter what element control the flow of, uh, of the raw water and uh, how the raw water goes out okay the raw water enter in the bottom in the lower unit uh, the grill is located over there where uh, the raw water enter the raw water suction is suction because uh, the raw water pump is located here normally the raw water pump is located in between the middle section and the lower unit when you remove the lower section when you remove the lower section like uh, in this moment Mr. Rodriguez is removing the lower section immediately you remove the lower section you have access to the raw water pump head we are going to remove the power head and uh, we are going to analyze the ports the ports on, uh, on the power head where the raw water enter, circulate and return yes my friend those ports and those o-rings are critical in some engines we don't have in between the power head and the middle section we don't have o-rings we have gasket and if the gasket is broken you have this situation look at this engine the engine is running and the raw water is coming out in between the power unit and the middle section this is not good this is, this is a big problem in this particular case you need to remove the power head and replace the gasket and verify where is the leak normally it's because the gasket is broken or the all wings in the middle section are broken this, this is first kind of look at the different types of water pump pumps you have okay you have small impellers you have big impellers you have different triangular impellers uh, there's just so many different colors, so it all depends on the model and what the manufacturer specs in the manual. Once again, Danny, the enemy of the impellers, especially in outboards, is air and sand. Sand. So it kind of works like this. Uh, 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 an impeller is like a double-edged sword. If you use it too much, you get this. It wears. Uh, it's wears like this, no? Right. Exactly. But okay. also, if you don't use it too much, it'll look like that too. Yeah. And that's because when it sits in the housing, okay, when it sits in the housing like this, it holds a memory, especially if it sits for long Correct. periods of time. Have a memory. Correct. And then you don't have the, the, the pressure because the pressure is not the same against the wear. Correct. Side. For that reason, once again, the secret if you have a boat is use the boat. Use the boat. Use the, the boat. The more you use the boat, the better the boat. The is. better the boat. Is. All right. So obviously, you have a gasket. The gasket. Perfect. The gasket. You don't need to put any any sealant or nothing. Just nothing. the gasket's fine. Use the gasket. Then you put the plate, the wear plate. All right. Uh, if you need grease, we have grease over there. Right. You put the wear plate. And I normally try to do is try to have the keyway pointing this way. And the reason I do that is if you drop the keyway, it doesn't accidentally fall. Ah, uh, this is a there. great great tip. Yeah, facing forward in order to avoid drop the key over there. And you'll see okay. it, so you can see it there. Correct. Yeah, if so. you have the key over there, goes into the hole. That's right. not good. Perfect. Yeah, and then you'll have to take everything back apart. Okay. Okay. So now once you have that, then you have this O-ring. O-ring. Okay? Now, if you look in the groove, you see a certain position. It always points to the to the right. So uh, what I normally perfect. do is this O-ring goes to the bottom. But when I'm putting this, installing this, what I do is let's take this back off. And this is a tip. They don't really tell you this in the manual. I use the O-ring to hold it from. Ah, oh, and you don't need to hold it. You okay. don't need to hold it. So then when you do that, then you put this in. And if you notice the groove, I kind of put my finger where the groove is. So when I'm putting this in, just finding that right. Hi. Down. Okay, perfect. Hi guys. In this particular case, we are going to do the service on the raw water pump in an Alpha 1. Alpha 1 stern alpha drive. Alpha 1 stern, stern drive. And uh, we are going to do the process, Danny. Go ahead. Okay. So basically, you take once you pull the drive out. So here's the deal. When you're pulling the drive out on an Alpha 1, 
you have to put it in forward gear. Ah, uh, in forward. Okay. Why? And, and the reason is because what happens in the in the transom assembly, you have a fork that goes. If you look here, goes right here. So if it's in gear, if it's in neutral, it stays like this. You can never get it out. So when it's in gear, it's straight, so it slides right out. Ah, that's the reason. That's the that's reason. The, if not, it's impossible. To remove. Only Alpha One drives oh, needs to do. That. Yeah. So once you do that, then you pull you pull the drive out of the, out of the transom assembly. Then you loosen the bolts. And once you have everything loosened, you remove. Perfect. Everything should pop off. But you have to drain the oil first. Okay, of so course. Let me explain why. Because you have an oil ring that keeps oil on the upper case. Look at the oil. And you have oil in the lower case. Correct. Okay. We have oil in the upper case and oil in the lower case. Yeah. And in there's actually seals. Correct. And we have seals, no? Look at the seals in there. All right. We have the seals over there. And there's the transfer from the oil from the top to the bottom. Correct. That the, 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 the oil ring for, for the transfer. So, and those are the seals. Okay. Okay. Right now we are going to check the flow. Uh, we have uh, the lower unit located here. And, uh, and uh, this is the lower unit. And uh, of course, of course, if, uh, if uh, we have uh, the lower unit completely over there, and we are going to check the path of the of uh, of the raw water. The raw water enter. The raw water enter to the grill. Pass to the lower unit and enter. Normally, depending of the of the system, uh, the raw water the raw water pump could be located here. The raw water pump with the impeller, or in some cases, the raw water pump is located inside of the boat. Yeah, raw water pump inside like this or raw water pump in the lower unit of the steam drive. In between the middle section and the lower unit, you have the raw water pump. There are uh, two different types. Uh, both of them are commonly used. Uh, uh, both of them are equally efficient. Okay, suppose that the raw water pump is here. Okay, the raw water pump suction, the salt water, the salt water enter in the engine, enter in the engine compartment, and uh, in this case, we have the raw water pump here. And now the pressure of the raw water pump increase. Increase the raw water pump. The raw water pump continue, 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 continue into the thermostat house. Don't forget, if I have an engine in board with a, a raw water a refrigeration, both pumps, the raw water pump, and uh, the circulating pump are moving salt water. Yeah? Yes, the circulating pump or coolant pump in this particular example is moving also salt water, both of them. And, uh, and, uh, and the raw water pump could be internal raw water pump or external if uh, the, the configuration of the engine is a steam drive. Uh, in that case, the raw water pump is in between the lower unit and the middle section. Or, uh, or the raw water pump is internal, like this one, uh, and uh, the raw water pump is, is, is uh, driven by the, the, the crankshaft and the pulley on the crankshaft by a belt. Uh, we mentioned before that uh, we have raw water in outboard and we have raw water in inboard. But uh, Danny, raw water in inboard is catastrophic, no? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it, look at the corrosion. Yeah, look at the corrosion. <laughs> what happened? There's no protection. There's no protection for the engine. Everything's getting all the all the passages are getting raw water, so it's susceptible no, that's, to that's corrosion. That's ridiculous. Uh, additionally, we have a block in iron, heads in iron, iron in contact with salt water. Is the result we? That's get. the result. Uh, why they continue producing those those systems? Because it's cheaper. It's cheaper, no? It's cheaper. It, it's it's uh, it's probably around fifteen hundred to two thousand dollar upgrade if you wanted to go with a cooling yeah, system. Yeah, this is an important question. We can convert, no? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You can convert. We need added the heat exchanger, basically, right. no? And and change the risers. No? You have to change the well. The risers you can reuse. You have to use a block off Co plate. Correct. Correct. All right. One important thing. Uh, when we have uh, this system is in relation with the pumps. What happened with the pumps? Correct. In this particular model you have, this is for an I.O. stern drive system. Oh, a stern drive. All so right. you'll look at the picture above, you'll see the stern, Correct. you'll see the picture the, of the That's the pump of the, raw, of the raw water, water in the lower unit. Correct. Correct. So then when you come here, 
Correct. The road water entered over there. Correct. Through the cooler, which is for your power steering. Correct. That's Correct. Your power steering cooler. Correct. Okay, the road water entered over there and continue it into the into, into the, the thermostat. thermostat housing. And now here in the thermostat housing, if the thermostat is open, the water enter and right. circulate in the block. Correct. If and not, if not, return into the uh, into risers, the risers and, and bye bye. Out. Correct. Okay. And uh, s all the water enter in the engine? No. No. Some some so amount. Right. What happened with the rest of the water? The rest of the water gets expelled out to the exhaust. Now you have a circulating water pump that actually circulates that water through the engine, just through like the, the coolant. Uh, exactly. It's only it for the for raw salt water, water. For salt water. That's important. In this moment, the raw water, the the, uh, the coolant pump is working with salt water. Correct. But uh, that pump was designed to work with coolant. Yes. And it, this is designed to work for salt water, but it doesn't last as long. Correct. Same, you have the same weep hole, just in case there's leakage, if you have a bad shaft Correct. or a bad seal. And you just got to, when you take the belts off, you want to make sure that there's no play on them. No play. Correct. And uh, we, we, we need to verify when the engine is off, if in the bottom of the coolant pump is leaking. Correct. This is an indication that the, the chop is broken or, or the, seal. the seals are damaged. Correct. No?